almost a week ago, Osama bin Laden was found and killed in Pakistan by a group of anonymous Navy SEALs who were carrying out a mission that Obama had set up. And the initial reaction by a lot of people, including myself, was a feeling of relief and happiness that that period in our lives could finally completely close. But I feel like some people have taken it to the extreme and started waving flags a lot and saying USA, USA, and cheering them on and cheering everybody on and saying we got them and um, ding dong, the witch is dead and stuff like that. And it's everybody's been really, really cheerful about death. And it just kind of makes me wonder, you know, when do we draw the line between stopping a horrible mass murderer and rejoicing in killing? Because I just kind of started to think about it this week. You know, celebrating the death of somebody, even if it's somebody who was bad, is not really, I think, the best way to go about things. And it does, it's it's kind of not what America stands for. Um, and I quote Obama about this, too. It's important for us to make sure that very graphic photos of somebody who was shot in the head are not floating around as an incitement to additional violence or as a propaganda tool. That's not who we are. We don't trot out this stuff as trophies. And I agree. I, I feel like America is not a country where we celebrate when people die. We're a country who celebrates life. We're a country who celebrates coming together in times of strife and sadness and helping each other go, get, feel stronger through our united uh, grief, I guess. So all of the 9-11 stuff that happened when it, after it happened, all of the celebrations of the great people that we lost and the great city that was under such horrible uh, sadness in those in that moment. That's that's who we are. We we don't celebrate the death of people. We're not a country that goes around cheering when somebody dies. That's just not who we are. That's not something. I just I don't think that that's anything that we should be doing. And I feel like it's one of those things where it happened and it's over. We got him. We can move on. We shouldn't focus on it. We shouldn't still be cheering and acting like this. And I, I have another quote here from one of the widows of nine, the 9-11 attacks who said, It breaks my heart to witness young Americans cheer any death, even the death of a horrible, evil, murderous person, like it is some raucous tailgate party on a college campus. And I agree with her, too. I, I feel like we should not be cheering and happy about somebody who died just because I don't know. I know that it puts an end to all of the violence and the terror that he started, but you know, we caught one guy. That doesn't mean we're suddenly safe and we're going to see rainbows every day. It just means that uh, we put an end to a person's life who fought against our values and our morals in our country, but there, there are still bad people out there, and I don't know. I think they're going to see us dancing around on his grave and think that we're a bad country. And it just makes me sad. I, I want to feel proud, but it's hard to feel proud when people are waving flags and acting like it's that killing somebody is a good thing.